Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Lockhart. I'm the Executive Director of Kirkland Performance Center. Thanks for joining us for another evening of KPC at Home live stream. We're coming to you live from the KPC stage tonight. We're excited to join you and bring this live performance to you in your home through streaming. I hope you're a fan of the music of Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis because you've come to the right place for sure. KPC is honored to present some dear friends who have been favorite artists at KPC for many years, Seattle Repertory Jazz Orchestra. These concerts come to you free. It's because of the generosity of a supporter that, that is matching last week and this week's show up to $1,000 that this can happen tonight. To support KPC at this time, please visit kpcenter.org slash donate. We hope that you can support KPC at this challenging time for the theater with a gift of any size tonight. Even for the cost of a cup of coffee, you can support KPC at home with a one-time or monthly gift of just $5. Your generous gift makes a big difference for KPC right now, so thanks. To support SRJO, their Venmo info will scroll across the screen during the performance. Next up, next week I should say, on KPC at Home Livestream, we are gonna be featuring guitarist extraordinaire Lucian Lamont, streamed live from the KPC stage on August 6th at 8 p.m. It's gonna be great. So thanks again so much for joining us. And now from wherever you are, please join me in welcoming Seattle Repertory Jazz Orchestra performing Monk and Miles. Thanks, Jeff, for that very nice introduction. Uh, we are thrilled to be here with you and all of your great staff at Kirkland Performance Center. We are a small group drawn out of the SRJO, the large Seattle Repertory Jazz Orchestra. We're paying a tribute tonight to the great Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis. And to start out, we would like to play a piece by Thelonious titled Bemshaw Swing.
Thanks so much to all of you who are joining us here tonight. We are just thrilled to have you in the audience, and we wish so much that we were playing for you live here at KPC, but we appreciate you taking the time to be with us tonight. Uh, we're here celebrating the, the artistry of these great musicians, Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis, uh, two great innovators who changed the, changed the art form in so many ways. Uh, uh, Thelonious Monk wrote some 70 great pieces that became jazz standards, almost every one of them. And Miles Davis, who changed this, the direction of jazz multiple times during his very long career. Uh, we are going to continue now with another piece that was recorded uh, for by uh, Miles Davis on his album Miles Davis and the Modern Jazz Giants, also written by Thelonious Monk, and this is titled "This is titled Mysterioso." No, I'm sorry, Round Midnight. Thank you. 
Thank you. That's Round Midnight by Thelonious Monk. That's John Hansen on the piano. John Hansen, I know all of you at home are cheering madly for him. 
And on the bass, Michael Glynn on bass. On the drums back here is Devon Lewis, the Devon Lewis. And uh, a fellow saxophonist and great friend, this is Alex Dugdale on the alto saxophone. And I'm Michael Brockman, and again, we're a small group from the Seattle Repertory Jazz Orchestra, paying tribute to Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis. Here is another piece by Thelonious Monk uh, that has been recorded by all kinds of great musicians around the world. Now, Thelonious is renowned for taking simple ideas and making them very sophisticated, and you'll enjoy, I'm sure, hearing his thoughts and his ideas on this next piece, Mysterioso. Thank 
The SRJO is a 25-year-old big band. My friend Clarence Acox and I founded it back in 1995. And the way we put it together was uh, we, all, we asked all our friends around the city of Seattle who might want to come and play, uh, say, classic big band literature from Ellington and Basie and, and even Thad Jones. And we put together a core of players, and a lot of them are still in the band. Thelonious Monk, Miles Davis, those are two of the great innovators of our art form. Um, there are a lot of them. There, we have a lot of uh, real um, heroes who took the music apart, put it back together, and brought something new to it during their careers. Um, but uh, Miles Davis, Thelonious Monk are two of the evergreen uh, innovators. And what I mean by that is that even today we're looking at the things that they brought to the music and noticing that there was um, miraculous change that they brought about that still astounds us. The next challenge for the SRJO is a lot like what you're facing here just as a concert hall. We have to figure out how we can draw in our audiences, um, how we can still provide special music for people uh, in this unusual uh, isolation that everyone's suffering from, and have it be a really meaningful performance. Uh, we can all go find plenty of concerts and performances online 24-7. Uh, we always could, in fact. Um, and so what can our arts organization do uh, that's special, that brings a, a unique experience to the audience? It's a lot like being a museum curator. Uh, we have to sift through a lot of the noise and figure out what's really special and then and present that to audiences and convince them that they really need to see that. The people who want to support what we're doing, um, this is for the SRJO, but I'll also see it for, for KPC. If we look at how things were even in good, good times, uh, we all know that our ticket sales only covered around half of our expenses and that we were always dependent on donors who were art lovers uh, to step forward and make sure that we could keep the momentum and keep the quality and, uh, and, and more than anything else give really good customer service. Uh, that's paramount for the experience of everyone who, who walks in the door of these concert halls. Uh, so. Uh, yes, donors can do what they normally did, which was write a check and send it to our organization. Uh, but now we've also all found new ways to uh, make it easier for people using Venmo and using PayPal uh, so that even the casual donor can give a tip. If they see something that they like, then they can throw a little bit of money at it to help keep the momentum going. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of the SRJO Small Tet presenting the music of Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis here at Kirkland Performance Center. Um, we are going to continue right off the bat here with a Thelonious Monk composition called I Mean You. Thank you. 
That's Alex Dugdale on the alto saxophone, John Hansen on piano, Michael Glynn on the bass, and Devon Lewis on the drums. That's I Mean You, I Mean You. Well, we would like to continue on now with one of our very favorite slow pieces that Thelonious Monk wrote. Uh, it's a beautiful ballad, rather a poignant one, where uh, a person asking another another loved one to commit themselves and and uh, they just can't seem to get it together here is ask me now
Ask Me Now, one of our very favorite pieces by Thelonious Monk. Well, we're almost out of time, folks. We hope that you'll uh, visit our website to find out more about the Seattle Repertory Jazz Orchestra. That's srjo.org. And uh, we do have a season that we're going to open up with uh, in the fall, including playing Miles Davis's entire Birth of the Cool. And we'll have a nine-piece band that's going to perform that. We're going to close out this evening uh, with an appropriately titled piece that Monk loved to play and one of his high-spirited pieces titled Baya. Thanks again for being with us tonight. We hope you enjoy uh, everything you heard tonight, and we hope you enjoy Baya. Here we go.
Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and good night from Kirkland Performance Center. Good night.